In this screencast I'll show you the equations to calculate binary VLE data for non-ideal systems. So if we go over to some basic theory, these are the equations that we used for an ideal system and so to start with we'll implement these for an example system and so the system we'll take in this video is acetone methanol and we have the Antoine constants here and we have all the calculations now for the binary VLE uh, at uh, 760 millimeters of mercury and we can then plot X1 versus Y1 which is done here and we can see the blue line is assuming ideal solution behavior using Routes law and the experimental data points shown as crosses uh, don't really follow the line and so what this shows us is that for this system we don't have ideal solution behavior uh, ideal liquid behavior and so we have to do something a bit different literature data details are given here so the theory that we need to apply in this case uh, is slightly different we need to use an extended version of Routes law which has been modified for non-ideal liquid systems and there's an additional term in the equation now there's this gamma term which is the activity coefficient of the component and we also need a model to tell us what the activity coefficient is going to be for the different components and the very simplest model that we can have is this symmetrical activity model where the activity coefficients are going to be symmetrical to each other and the log of the activity coefficient simply equals uh, a constant uh, times by the mole fraction squared so for gamma 1 it's the mole fraction of component 2 squared for gamma 2 it's the mole fraction of component 1 squared and if we uh, go over to this next spreadsheet it's all set up so that we can actually implement these equations using the symmetrical activity model now first of all we need to find a a value for the symmetrical activity model constant A which is shown here. To do this we're going to use the data for an azeotrope in this system. So the azeotrope data is here temperature 55.8 degrees C at a pressure of 760 millimeters of mercury the azeotrope the mole fraction in the liquid of, of the first component is 0.5415 and that's all the information that we're given for the azeotrope. Now we can work out X2 by 1 minus that and because it's an azeotrope we know that the vapor is going to have the same composition. We can also work out the vapor pressure for the two components at this using the Antoine equation. Now that we have all of this information collated we can actually work out the activity coefficient at this data point so we're simply using a rearrangement of the extended Routes law that we looked at a moment ago. We can then take the, the log, the natural log of each of these and for this example I'm just going to take the natural log of gamma 2 divided by x1 squared and that will give us an estimate for the symmetrical activity model constant. Now over in this area I've set up all the calculations in order to work out the VLE data. So it should be quite familiar now if you've watched the previous videos. We've got X1 going from 0 to 1 in 0 0.01 increments. X2 is just 1 minus that. Uh, we need a temperature, so we set a temperature. And in this case, the first one is set at 64.7 degrees C. Now, gamma 1 can be calculated simply by taking the x2 value squared and multiplying by a and the gamma 2 value very similarly it's uh, the a value times by x1 squared and we do that all the way through for all the different x1 values the partial pressure of component 1 then is gamma 1 multiplied by x1 and then multiplied by the vapor pressure for component 1 as given by the Antoine equation. So we're using the temperature and the Antoine constants here. 
2 is very similar except this time it's the x2 and the gamma2 and the Antoine constants for component 2. We can sum those up to give the total pressure and then we can get the mob fractions in the vapour here as well. And the temperature in fact has already been set up and varied so that the total pressure is 760 and that's happened for all of these so that the whole system, all of the compositions, the entire data set is for a pressure of 760 millimetres of mercury. Now if we look at the XY plot with this symmetrical model you can see there's a lot better data fit now. The orange line which is based on the calculations from the symmetrical activity model is uh, a good fit to that experimental data from the literature. The final graph I want to show you then is the variation in the activity coefficient with the mole fraction of component 1 in the liquid phase and you can see that gamma 2 goes up like this gamma 1 goes down like this but the important thing is to see that they're symmetrical they're a mirror image to each other and this is kind of linked it's in the name it's a symmetrical uh, model for the activity coefficient overall that is how we can implement the symmetrical activity model to calculate binary VLE data